Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your leadership on this important legislation that invested our nation's water resources infrastructure for far too long. My home state of Arizona has not gotten its fair share of federal infrastructure dollars to meet its water infrastructure needs, but this bill begins to address that. For Arizona, this bill delivers vital assistance I have fought for to address our aging wa water and wastewater systems, provide flood protection to vulnerable communities, and restore our river ecosystems. I am pleased that this bill includes my legislation to help communities across Arizona address their water infrastructure needs. Over the next 20 years, Arizona will have nearly $16 billion in drinking water and wastewater infrastructure needs. To begin to address this significant gap, this bill provides $150 million in assistance, which is in line with water infrastructure assistance Congress has authorized through the Corps of Engineers and other southwestern and western states. With this assistance, communities in every corner of Arizona will be able to address our aging systems before performance and reliability are compromised. And it will allow them to improve and strengthen their systems to protect them from the impacts of climate change and future disasters, including drought. This bill also advances critical projects, including flood protection in the city of Winslow and parts of Navajo County to protect residents and businesses, including communities' critical public facilities. Completion of a report to advance Trace Rios, an ongoing effort to restore and revitalize the Salt and Gila River corridors that is part of the larger Rio Reimagine, Senator McCain and Representative Castor's legacy projects. Completion of the feasibility study for the Lower Santa Cruz Flood Control Project to protect the community of Maricopa in Pinal County. And it finally authorizes a study to examine options for addressing flooding along the Tonto Creek in Gila County. For decades, this, this area has experienced significant flooding after storms have transformed a normally dry creek into a raging river, leading, cutting off access to residents, and in some cases, leading to a tragic death. The study is a critically important step in identifying options to address flooding in this region. Again, thank you to Chairman DeFazio, Ranking Member Grays, Chairwoman Napolitano, Ranking Member Westerman for your leadership on Word of 2020 and for your incredible work of your team and staff, and I yield back.